All right, we are tracking the tropics and here's your latest on Hurricane Milton. Now, as of the 8 a.m. advisory out of the National Hurricane Center, winds up to 125 miles an hour. And this is just to the west northwest of the uh, northwest coast of the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. It's moving now east southeast at about eight miles an hour, more of a wobble uh, than a uh, definite movement. It eventually picks up an easterly motion once again and moves uh, northeast up toward Florida. Barometric pressure is on the fall. As you can see, again, there's that center of circulation. The eye is beginning to clear out. And what that means is a strengthening storm system. Look at all the reds, the oranges, the yellows. Those are the cold high cloud tops of the thunderstorms associated with now category three Hurricane Milton. You see it kind of makes this little dip, moves eastbound, continues to strengthen. This could become a category, almost category five, a very strong category four hurricane uh, as it makes the move right past the north side of the Yucatan Peninsula, perhaps clipping that north side of Mexico, which would take a couple miles an hour off the winds, but still an extremely strong category four at 145 miles an hour as it takes aim potentially right around or just south of Tampa middle of this week and eventually moves across Florida, likely still all the way to about Orlando as a category one hurricane and then turning into an extra tropical system. So take a look at all of the computer model trends again, kind of clustering right around that Tampa, Florida area. There's another little batch that goes uh, more so south toward Fort Myers. Either way, got to be on high alert here for anywhere from Tampa all the way down to Fort Myers and perhaps uh, some of the uh, impact and storm surge flooding could be as far south as uh, almost Key West with a really, really large center of circulation with this. Again, you remember Helene, uh, as this continues to wobble to the south, it continues to flame out, if you will, or feather out uh, with these large areas of cold high cloud tops being pushed north and south. So it's taken up a lot of real estate, which is going to turn up a lot of water in the Gulf of Mexico and some of these areas that expect potentially high storm surge, especially that's going to be south and east of our circulation, south and east of the highest winds here, wherever that occurs, where we saw six to nine feet of storm surge out of Helene, we could see another batch of very high storm surge, even higher uh, as this moves its way inland. This here is our tropical storm wind probabilities and a really good shot at getting tropical storm force, which would be damaging winds or higher. 90 plus percentile here uh, just south of Tampa and right around Tampa. Even at this early juncture, we're looking out what two days or so, 80% uh, chance of getting at least tropical storm force winds and computer modeling says again, as this moves on shore, this is going to be a beast. We've got uh, winds of 90 to 100 miles an hour into and south of Tampa, and that's 90 to 100 miles an hour plus on the wind field. So you can see how large that wind, shield, uh, wind field is all the way from the Big Bend of Florida down south uh, to about Fort Myers, if not even uh, a little farther south than that. So this thing is really going to cause uh, a lot of issues for these folks down in Florida. Just a real devastating storm uh, as we're now wrapping up cleanup from Helene.